injury-wise, who's not and who is available? I think it's as you were from last weekend. Um, I don't think there's any fresh concerns. Mido Kamara, we're hoping there's a deal done there. There's a bit of interest in Jess Spearing from Watford as well, but um, in terms of the staff we had last week, it's pretty much the same. So you could could be two players less than you were in the squad? Yeah, but we are actively looking to bring some more players in. Um, they're two good players, but we feel we were top heavy in centre midfield and we're looking to enhance the squad in other positions there. Is one of those players Chris Commons? You've been linked with him quite a bit, haven't you? No, I mean, that's just speculation. And uh, I mean, Chris's contract, everyone knows his contract's up at the end of the season. Is there interest from us? Well, I know Chris very well. Um, but whether we can get a deal done there is another thing. It's a natural assumption, though, I suppose, by people to think that you'd go back to your old club, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I mean, I think there's other interest in Chris, like, you know, so it wouldn't surprise me because of the quality of player that he is, but. I'm sure I know Celtic will do all they can to keep him there as well. Is there anybody else that's in your mind? I mean, you might not want to reveal names, but. Yeah, there's plenty. I know plenty in um, a variety of positions, so we're just working away on that at the minute. Finance is obviously going to play a big part in that, so we have to be you know, careful how we go about it. Is January a crucial month for you in terms of what, where you set your ambitions? What what you do in this month, or is it not? Yeah, I that? think it's always uh, an opportunity to you know make yourself better as the season goes on. So that's what we're out to do, um, and then hopefully kick on from there. We um, we've hit the bit of, bit of the buffers at the minute. You know, a defeated Huddersfield and then a draw at the weekend. So it'll be good to get back to winning ways and, and start looking up the table again. And you can look up because if you look at the table and the, the gaps in points, they're not that massive. I agree, yeah. I mean, we're 11 points off the playoffs. We're seven points off relegation. So you have to be mindful of that. But um, there's still a, a big opportunity there to you know, put a run together and get us up the table. So if you get the right players and you're able to do the manoeuvring you want, you still feel you could just nick into the, the playoffs? Yeah, it's a big ask. But there's plenty of football left. I mean, it's 20, 20 plus games and there's a lot of football in that. A lot of points to be won. Um, we're in a decent place at the minute. We think, you know, playing ways. We just lack a wee bit of creativity at the minute. Chumley's away. Zach Clough been injured. Clayton Davis out. But um, the players who have played for me in this run have been fantastic. I think we've lost one game in ten. So consistency is good. We just need to give these boys a hand there. What about Sheffield Wednesday and going to Hillsborough? Good team playing very well. You know, Stuart's done a great job there. Big improvement on last season. I know some of the players there, Leavens was a Celtic with me, Stevie Mays and Johnson. And uh, they're a hard working, functional team and um, at home, you know, they've been they're getting some pretty impressive results now. And in the FA Cup they recently gave City a good game, didn't they? So that shows that they can be as good as anybody in this division. Yeah, I, I mean Stuart just goes about his business really quietly and gets on with it and um, I've been really impressed in, in what he's done there. He's doing a very, very good job at a big, big club with huge potential. With Liverpool on the horizon, is is it a little bit of guarding against making the players not think about that? Yeah, yeah, there is. A, I mean, we've got to concentrate on the league. Obviously, the Liverpool game is a bonus, something we can all look forward to. But um, you know, we need to really get back to winning ways as soon as we can in the league. Have the injuries played a big part in the kind of the, the kind of stalling? Yeah, certainly in the creativity point of view. You know, we brought Zach in, we had a fantastic debut, and then we lost him for whoever length of time it would be. Chungi would make a big difference, obviously, I think he's the best player in the division. And there's no doubt Mark Davis and, and Max Clayton are players who would you know, make us better on the day. Um, you mentioned Chungi there, a bit of a setback for him at the Asia Cup, but what's the kind of latest on him, do you know? Well, uh, uh, initial reports was a hurt eye fracture. Um, he's due in tomorrow, and we'll assess him then and we'll see how he is. I mean, that was, <laughs> I suppose good news in one way to have him back I, earlier. I know what you mean, yeah, I know what you mean, yeah, but... Uh, uh, it's it's never a good thing when you know, especially on the same area where he you know he hurt the leg the first time. So we're hoping that the uh, if there is a fracture there, it'll be it'll heal very very quickly. No, yeah, just you d just don't know at the moment. Is no, no. I mean, we're waiting on the scans back from the radiologist. He may have to go for another scale as well uh, next week, and then we'll assess it from there. Uh, you mentioned Jay Spearing and interest from Watford. How, yeah. how concrete is that? What, what, what are we looking like? Well, we don't know yet. Uh, we were, he was down there yesterday uh, having a look around. We had a player from Watford up here having a look around, but uh, that deal is far from concluded at the minute. 
Um, last week, um, first goal for, for Ida. How, how important was that for him to, to go off the mark? Either be by yeah, a penalty. It'll be important for him. Um, he played well in the game. It wasn't ideal to go with Hiskey and Ida for the 90 minutes because obviously the the age that they're at, but um, it was needs must. And um, yeah, he'll, he'll get a big kick out of that. He's a fantastic player and he's, he's brilliant to have around. Very good bit of business and um, there's more to come from. How difficult is it to juggle those two players when based on their age and you know that it you're reliable? Really yeah, the it depends on got. the injuries and you speak to them. And I know from my own time, towards the end of my career how I felt and um, it's just a question of me managing it and them coming to me and talking about it but uh, very very pleased with the contribution they made. Uh, Joe Riley also leaving um, this week, what, what were your thoughts behind that? Well I, I wanted to have a look at him for a week or two because he's been here there and everywhere on loan uh, so he's come in for a week, played on Monday and we just felt you know, at 23 it was time for him, he probably wouldn't get as much game time here than he would do elsewhere so it's best for Joe to um, go and get some experience elsewhere. Okay, and and you mentioned Mido. That's that's likely to go through. We're hoping that'll be concluded this week. Yeah.